Hi there, it's Marie and welcome to Real Life on the Homestead in Ontario. Since I've been on my carnivore journey, I've been looking at as many YouTube channels as possible to get different ideas, um, try things, create my own variations. And I noticed that a lot of bread substitutes or pasta substitutes, uh, tortilla wraps, taco shells, pizza dough, all those type of bread-like products, all ask for powdered egg whites. Now, I don't have powdered egg whites at home, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna hop on Amazon and see how much it is. It's a ridiculous cost. Now, I know it takes a lot of egg whites to make a package, but like almost $100, like, are you kidding me? I have my own chickens, I get my own eggs, so I'm gonna try and make my own egg white powder. So I've seen a few ways to make it on um, a few YouTube channels. My only concern is when you have a liquid dense product, it's going to take a long time to dehydrate because you got to get all that moisture out of it. So I have a thought on how this may work. So let's try it today and enjoy this experiment with me. I'm going to start off by, of course, um, getting a very clean and dry bowl. Make sure that there's no oils. And I'm going to add my egg whites to my bowl. Now, I have these egg whites left over from making some custard. So I always put egg whites or egg yolks aside when I'm using eggs. Make sure that they don't waste. Now, I am going to beat these egg whites to a hard peak. The reason I'm beating is because I'm putting air into these. When I'm putting air, I'm creating more surface area. My logic is the more surface area, the faster it will dehydrate and dry out. Don't you agree? I think this might work a little bit better than pouring the egg whites into a container and then trying to dehydrate it. So I am gonna make sure that these are super hard and stiff. As you can see, it looks like almost styrofoam. And I'm just gonna lay this out on my um, parchment paper here. And what I'm doing is spreading it out as even as possible, just to ensure I have even coating time. And here you go. I am placing this in my oven and my oven's lowest temperature is 170. So every once in a while, I'm actually gonna shut off the oven and then turn it back on. But it did not take very long. And as you see, it's not um, like a meringue, it's not gooey, it's dry. I can crumble it with my hand. I noticed that the ones on the bottom did get a little bit browner than I would like, like I'd like it to be a white white. So instead of putting two trays in next time, I'm just gonna put in one. Um, but it's dry, there's no moisture here at all and that's what I'm looking for. Um, and as you can see, this one here, it's on the upper rack and it was a lot better. So next time I'm just gonna do one tray at a time. And this breaks up and look at this, egg whites dried up, dehydrated. Now I um, thought I'd like them finer because I want it to be the consistency of what I've seen people using. So I'm gonna take my immersion blender and just break down the dust. And trust me, it creates a lot of dust. So I just did a little bit to make the powder a little finer. I could have brought out my Vitamix, but I thought this would just be faster. And there you go. How simple was that? I have here 36 egg whites and it equaled a cup of uh, egg white powder. Now I see why the cost is so high. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Have a great day and live your best life.